We'll call this uh, town hall meeting of the New Glow City Council of Order. Welcome to council members, audience, administration. If you will, Chris. All right, Mayor Cook. Yes. Councilwoman Grove. Not present. So Councilman Bond, Councilman Chammy, not present. Um, Councilman Wright. Here. Councilman Lindsay. Here. And Vice Mayor Eggleston. Here. Five present. Well, basically, the next item is the welcome comments from the mayor, which I've basically already done. At that point, Mr. Kitko. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor, members of council. Um, for our town hall meeting tonight, uh, we'll just have some uh, basic reports. Uh, I think the goal will be to look at doing another one to kind of get on schedule with February or March time frame to do the whole review of 2024. But just uh, kind of what's already happened in 2024 as far as uh, anything that happened within my department. We did resurface West Washington Street and Villa with nine ADA ramp replacements. We also replaced 14 ADA ramps up in the Willowick area. We completed the Nature Works grant with three new pole gazebos. Uh, we received uh, $45,000 in funds uh, for that project. We received nearly $2 million in grant funds, which the project will be getting ready to start here uh, around December 11th for the lead service project. Uh, we're gonna continue to study ways to invest in our current infrastructure, you know, to save costs in the long run. Uh, we'll continue to apply and utilize grant funds where applicable and increasing our efforts to improve the appearance of the city. A couple of public service announcements, and we're also going to put this in our newsletter coming up, but the term flushable wipes, well, we're looking to, um, you know, don't put those down the toilet. No matter what they tell you, um, they wreak havoc on a sanitary system. And with that, any kind of restaurant or any kind of business that has cooking oils or greases, uh, should try to get those disposed in the trash and or if they have an oil water separator get that separator cleaned out on a regularly scheduled basis um, to keep that from going down and that is all I have for my report any questions before I move on to finance if not uh, moving on to the finance report uh, Miss Colleen Harris Thank you, Mr. Kitko and council and members of the public. The 2024, um, my review for 2023, 2024 on there. Um, no, 2024, got it. So the revenue, the, I, the report's up through the end of October as of 1031. So the revenue that we've already collected is $9,003,779.60. Our estimated budget going in the first of the year, we were estimating to receive $7,436,904. So we are well above our estimated revenue. And then as of October 31st, our expenditures are $7,392,322.42. And the approved budget is for $9,191,079. So we are well under. Now the uh, general fund ending balances, I like to put that in every year. Um, I won't be able to give you the update till we close the books in December, but our ending general fund balance as of 2023 was $2,894,895. You can see in the graph I went back to 2015 as the oldest um, information and the general fund was $169,320. So we're coming, um, we've been doing really well on growing our general fund. The capital improvements, the highlights for 2024, the general fund parks um, was already mentioned. We did the Heritage Hall and Hensley parking lot blacktop and a share of the Carlisle Park phase one that came in at a little over 66,000. The street department did put the deposit of 20,000 on the new street sweeper. Uh, the ambulance and fire, they both received a BWC grants and they had purchased two stair shift lifts and some Lucas tools. 
They also purchased some thermal imaging cameras with that BWC grant. Water Department got a hydraulic power lift. Wastewater Department received their new uh, ram truck. And the pool, again, with the ODNR grant, got the gazebos. Those are the highlights of the capital improvement money spent. And then when it goes down to our debt payments, uh, general bond um, is $44,182 we owe on that. It'll be paid off in 2035. Twin Creeks has a balance of $76,503. It will be paid off in 2026. And the street sweeper is new. It's a five-year bond and the debt payments for this year or for next year will be $47,167. The other debt, the water, water funds has the new water meters uh, fifteen thousand five hundred dollars that's what we pay annually on that debt <coughs> to be paid off in 2035 the YMCA <coughs> extension shared account will be paid off in 2025 and that annual payment is seven thousand one hundred fifty three dollars the new water plant will be paid off in 2026 that annual payment is two hundred and seventeen thousand two hundred forty nine dollars and there's the shared water meter that the waste water plant also puts the 15500 for that annual payment. YMCA is the shared, and the very last one is the plant improvements at the wastewater plant. It has an annual payment of $32,913, and that will be paid off in 2043. I can detail anything at a, um, if there's any questions, and that's my overview for the town hall. Anyone got any questions for calling? If not, thank you, Ms. Harris. Uh, moving on to our fire and EMS report with Chief Trustee. Council, uh, for the 2024, the fire division worked a lot on this inside the fire station. Uh, it needed a lot of facelift. Uh, we put in all new ceiling tiles throughout the interior of the station. We also painted the entire inside of the station. We are currently on uh, remodeling the and reciting the garage. All the labor for all the projects has been and will be com completed by fire department personnel, saving us a lot of money <coughs> on labor. Uh, 2024 divisions also received one grant that uh, Ms. Harris was talking about, the, uh, the VWC grant. We also received the State Fire Marshal's radio, March radio grant for 17,000. Uh, 11085 which allowed us to purchase five new uh, March radio portables and speaker mics. Uh, the division received also the Ohio EMS grant that we received annually of it was 3264 which allowed us to buy one AED and some other various EMS equipment and supplies. We also received another BWC grant this year for 15,000 which allowed us to purchase five complete sets of uh, turnout gear bunker gear. And we also were able to at least provide over 30, 000, over 30 smoke alarms for the citizens, free of charge and installed. And that's my overview for the year. I guess we got any questions for the chief? All right, uh, moving on to the planning department uh, goals for 24 and 2025. Um, Brown will probably be busy at the next meeting, so I can just give a brief overview of some of his accomplished goals for 2024. Uh, new residential developments, Arbor Homes, DR Horton, which is also known as the Reserves at Honey Creek. Uh, new business developments, McDonald's, Taco Bell. And with that being said, uh, we are looking at December 17th or December 18th for the ribbon cutting for Taco Bell. Once the specific time comes out, 17th is like a late morning, early afternoon. The 18th is an afternoon. So um, once I get some information out, I'll have a time that everybody can show up for the ribbon cutting. But I believe they're opening Wednesday, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday is when they're having their regular opening. Tentatively. That's what they're oh, tentatively. Thank you. You're uh, code enforcement, uh, working on streamlining code enforcement process by focusing on building relationships with residents and businesses. Streamline the iWorks software system, utilize most functions. Uh, streamline mayor's court processes. 
We hired and trained develop a new code enforcement officer, implemented the text.gov for general, notif general notifications, and created a knowledge database for residents and businesses. I think most people, when they go to our website, they see that little uh, logo that stays kind of in its place when you're scrolling. That is the text.gov. There's also other ways to, uh, to get signed up for that. Training and development, um, code enforcement has completed some training courses such as the legal aspects of code enforcement, from reactive to responsive, reimaging code enforcement, officer safety, and the guardian mindset. Uh, planning director, municipal planning and zoning fundamentals, Ohio State University's uh, master course, rental registration and inspections, and most in the rest of these are all through FEMA, Introduction to National Flood Insurance Program, Understanding the Floodplain Mapping Process, Region 5, Ohio Floodplain Management, Introduction to Floodplain Mapping, Understanding and Using FEMA's Mapping Tools. In goal setting for 2025, we're looking, uh, obviously everybody is aware, we're going to be getting into the Comprehensive Land Use Plan, streamlining the text.gov even more, finalizing the development of our exterior property maintenance program for seniors, veterans, and individuals with disabilities, exterior property maintenance code upgrade, implementing CHIP grant with Clark County for income-based residents, and create rental registration program. And there's also a, a attached, you know, with some uh, numbers for the data summary so far in 2024. Any questions under for the planning? I guess not. Well, and uh, so then basically, let me get back down to my thing. The last thing I wanted to put out and uh, is basically, I think everybody here at the city uh, does a real good job at um, everything we've done over the last year, if not two, learning new tasks, learning how to implement new ways of doing set, uh, things. Some of the old mindsets of uh, this is how it used to be, we have changed a lot of that in how we do some landscaping, operating our equipment, do fun, uh, funding scenarios um, in and out of our discussions with different ordinances that come forth. So, you know, there's a lot of things that I think everybody's learned and everything's uh, doing a lot better now. So I just want to put that out and I appreciate all the staff. And that is all I uh, have. All right. I guess that brings us down to comments from the mayor and the council. I'm going to move myself and the vice mayor to the bottom of that list, and we're going to start with Carrie Ann. Would you like to say anything? I don't really have anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, primarily you're the newest member of this quote-unquote city council, mm -hmm. and I think consequently you've been a great addition to us. So I will go on from there to Kathy. I don't know. I think it's been a successful year. I really feel like it has. I know I've had a lot to learn, and I'm working on that, and I'll continue to work on that. Uh, I want to build a better go-between between, between the citizens and council and administration, and I feel like maybe we've made a step in that direction. I really hope so. Um, that's really all I have to say. I'm proud to be on this council, and I think we're moving forward pretty well, too. And I'm really proud of you guys. You did a good job, all of you. I didn't mean to leave anybody out. Mr. Lindsay. Hmm. I've been around for a while. Uh, I know all the players real well, but two. That's the two newest members. Uh, I think they bring a lot to council. They have uh, different ideas, different ways of thinking. I think it's a, they're a good addition to our council. But with that said, the administration as it sets now, and especially Mr. Kitko, and Mrs. Harris, you two, I think, and the chief, sorry, I don't mean to leave you out, chief. Uh, you know what I think about you and the department. So uh, I think you've all done an awesome job in your prospective departments. Sorry, Brian, I forgot you were sitting there. <laughs> you never come. Uh, 
<laughs> you've done a good job too with what you've done in in the planning department, um, and 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 with the mayor's court getting things done and getting getting uh, the city cleaned up. It looks great. The projects that the uh, service director has accomplished with grants and whatnot, uh, I think is phenomenal. I, we've done more in the last few years as far as streets and repairs and curbs, uh, the corners, you know, the handicap uh, accessibility than has ever been done in this city. I look for that to continue. I look for uh, the staff to have better communication with council. Uh, I would even go as far as say, it'd be nice if the staff could talk to us and we could talk to the staff. Although I know we cannot <coughs> direct the staff to do anything or request them to do anything without going through the manager. But with that said, you know, sometimes I just want to call and say, hey, what's going on? You know, anything happening in the city I don't know about. <coughs> and I very seldom ask questions I don't already know the answer to. Uh, we, you know, we're nodding his head. <laughs> so I just want to say congratulations, kudos to all of you for the uh, holding the city together, especially here in this last few weeks and months. And uh, I look uh, forward to continuing this relationship through the next year and beyond. And with that, sir, I'll yield to the vice mayor. She's next in line. <laughs> Well, I think in the last year, the administration and the employees have done an amazing job on cleaning up Main Street, the flowers, I mean, just all around did a great job. And Howie, you have gotten more grants than we could ever expect. Mm -hmm. And we have done more street repairs, ADA ramps. I think the city's done more in the last five years than it did in the previous 20. But <clears throat> I want to thank the administration. And as I mentioned before, I'm really concerned about the current direction of the council. And I think that it needs to learn how to work together or I'm afraid to see where the city will be in the next year. With that, I don't think there's a whole lot that I can add to what each one of these have already said. However, I have noticed in the few couple of weeks that Mr. Kitko has been at the helm that we have had an ups, I don't want to say this, an upturn in communication. Uh, Mr. Kitko and I have been on the phone a couple of times and consequently we've relayed information back and forth. I have noticed that the law director has also uh, been a little more forthcoming with information to each and every one of us. And I think this will hopefully continue. That way I think we're going to have a much better idea of what goes on in this city rather than coming in here on a Monday night and hearing about it at that time. With that I will have to reflect along with the vice mayor that Yes, I'm a little interested in the directions that council is going. Hopefully we will get together and I guess the word is work together a little bit more than we have in the past year. And consequently, I think that's about all I've got to say. Anybody got anything from the audience? Mr. Mayor. Go ahead, Bill. I'd like to hear from the administration if they have anything they'd like to say to us. I'm open. 
I, th I think if uh, the way things go, uh, I'm a, as, as it's been stated before, um, I pretty much have even kill at all times. That's part of my military training and um, can work with about anybody, you know, positives and negatives. There's got to be a way to get in the middle of how you work things out. Uh, sometimes it's going to be one direction, sometimes it's going to be the other. But I think in the end, I see, you know, just, just working together. Because as administration, you know, we're doing the budget and trying to do these projects, but at the same time, run a city, take these calls from citizens, why are you doing certain things? And, you know, I, I want to say, well, you, ju you just blame it on council. You know, they're the ones that make the rules, they make the policies, they do all that, we have to enforce those. So I'm trying to be a go, you know, be a go between as a, as a city manager on how can you take, bring them off the cliff a little bit and just say, hey, they're working on it. We're working on this. I know this affects you a little bit, but we're also working on trying to how to help you, but we gave someone else a little bit of a, I don't know, um, I, we gave someone else some rights. We're gonna try to help you guys work together. So I think in the end, you know, we just, working together is, is huge and, and keeping things um, calm. I mean, you guys have seen me, well, some people for almost 25 years, I don't think you've ever once seen me get excited. So, not that I'm not excited on the inside, but, you know, uh, there, there, there's some, uh, you know, something to maybe be said about that and trying to keep things moving forward. Uh, Ms. Harris? So, and I can add to that, I've been in government 20 years and I've worked with five, maybe six different city managers. And a good city manager that leads the staff gets more out of the staff and the staff finds that security to want to grow and do better in their position. And I appreciate how we've taken this huge step doing both jobs right now and leading us, bringing us all back together. That's just from the last few weeks. <coughs> For the first part of the year, I really appreciated what Peggy and Kathy um, asked about coming in and, and checking out our water billing and getting information for you, the council, to go directly to your, you know, the constituents. It's nice that you can walk a mile in our shoes and we walk a mile in your shoes so we come together and here's what's broken, here's what's not, here's what's fixed. I really appreciated that opportunity and I'd like to be able with permission if there's any other council members that want to come in and see on the inside. That way you have information. Kind of like what Mr. Um, Lindsay was asking about general information. I think that's not having that wall up but doing it protocol, doing it the right way through um, Howie's involvement and permission to get information back and forth. But I, um, I'm really looking forward to a, a, a good year coming up and a, a good closing for the end of the year and um, things are good. Chief, I'm passing it on. Um, I, we really appreciate in the division the support and the backing and the confidence that the council has in the fire division. Um, like I said when I first took over chief, I'll never say it's my department because it's not. It belongs to the city of New Carolina. Um, and we appreciate everything that the council has done for us and the way that the council supported us. Uh, as far as, I just have to echo what Ms. Harris said with the administration, how he taking over and doing what he is doing. Um, I mean, how we tend to work really well together, both have that little bit of, you know, that military alignment uh, and knowing that there's a chain of command that works up and down. Um, it's been fantastic. And as Ms. Harris said, I'm looking forward to a great next year. With that, Mr. Chammy, <laughs> have you got any comments in regards to the situation of today's Year in review, like year review, sort of. Okay. Put me on the spot. 
<laughs> well, we've all been there, so you're just a little late in getting there. <laughs> no, I think uh, uh, I think everything's running pretty good. Uh, I know there's some concerns about the council being divided. I disagree with that. I think uh, they would all work together just fine. I'm excited for Mr. Kitko. I'm excited for the administration down there. Uh, working hand in hand with you guys. That's it. Mr. Mayor. Go ahead. Now that I know what's going on. Okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> May I have a word? <laughs> um, it has been an honor to sit up here. It has been an honor to represent the people of this city. And it has been really awesome to get to meet the people that are behind the scenes in the admin office. Um, you guys are so great. I just really want you to know that I really appreciate you. Um, one of the things I really want to do being here is to hold space for people, to give them compassion, to show them that their concerns about the city matter, that they matter, because I'm here to represent them. I'm not here to represent myself. I'm here to add to this city. And it's just, it, it's the same with all of you. Like, you, you guys do that really well. And um, I just, I really appreciate everybody here. The, the people that live in the city, the people sitting up here on council. Um, I haven't been here very long, so I haven't really seen the division that's been talked about. I think that when people disagree, if you can sit down and have a really good conversation about it calmly, that you can come to some sort of common ground and actually come up with good solutions. And that is also what I would like to do here as well. So thank you. All right. With that, Howie, I guess we'll conclude the town hall meeting. Uh, do I have a adjourn. second? I have a motion and a second. Okay. Uh, Vice Mayor Eggleston? Yes. Mayor Cook? Yes. Councilman Grow? Yes. Councilman Shammy? Yes. Councilman Wright? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes.